Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. Today we're going to talk about personal conveyance. I've got this high-end, super high-class visual aid to help us understand what exactly is personal conveyance, especially with electronic logs, because many people, a lot of people ask me about it, number one, but many people under electronic logs are going to find that the log is not going to allow them to use a personal conveyance exception because of the way that they've been logging it and I know they've all we've been doing it for a hundred years that way but here's what the DOT has to say and I bring this up because the laws are changing and we'll get into that as we go along okay there are several requirements that have to be met for you to log personal conveyance so you're basically driving off duty okay your company has to allow like where i work they don't allow any personal conveyance use of the vehicles and they are pretty uh you know they tell you that up front they go look you can't drive this uh on your own for any reason other than the way we tell you so that's the end of that but if you own the truck right it's up to you so okay you have to be relieved of all work you can't be doing any work of course so this seems pretty simple but you have to be relieved of all work the trip has to be personal it has to be just a personal trip in nature, like, uh, you know, going to get some food or whatever. And the example always is an owner operator. Oh, uh, I'm off duty, so I'm going to take the truck down to the uh, shop to have it fixed. Uh, no, because that it pertains to the truck. That is not allowed. And that's specific. The DOT specifically has these as guidance. I'm going to go get some parts and work on my truck this weekend. No. It can't have anything to do with a commercial vehicle in any way. It has to be a personal trip. I'm going to go get a Frosty, that kind of thing. It cannot be anything to do with the truck. Currently, now here's where we get to the law change, the regulation change. Uh, the vehicle currently has to be unladen. No freight, no trailer. The vehicle, which is the truck, must be unladen. You can't even cart around an empty trailer currently as personal conveyance according to the DOT but they want to change that there's currently a um, a comment period with the DOT they want to change the unladen and the distance requirement which, which we'll get to in a moment also so they want to change it so that you could be laden with an empty trailer and uh, still be under personal conveyance Okay, but right now, you can't be. So if you have a trailer, it cannot be a personal command. Sorry. Okay, now the next one, no repositioning of the equipment. And that's where we get to this fine high-end chart that I have here. So you're at company A, right? And you get unloaded and you go, all right, I'm gonna, it's Friday night. I'm gonna go home, uh, uh, you know, I'm done. You leave your trailer under current regulations and you go home, right? Okay, and so then, they call you up Sunday and go, we got a load for you Monday and it picks up at company B and it goes somewhere. Okay, that's not allowed. That is not allowed because under the current regulations, you must return to where you started for personal conveyance use. It's a round trip because it was really meant for drivers to be at a truck stop and they go get a frosty or they go to the motel and then they return. That's what it's for. Okay, you cannot reposition the equipment. It does, it's not allowed. You go to get unloaded, go to the truck stop. They give you a load to go over here. You go, oh, well, this was personal because I'm coming to the truck stop because I'm just going to get something to eat or for whatever reason, I'm going to get the truck worked on. No, you can't do it. You can't take the truck to the shop and drop it off and say, well, that's personal because it's on my off time. That's actually not personal and conveyance use. Now, how would an electronic log uh, impact this well the way the electronic log impacts it is it knows where the truck is so if you put down here and you go into personal conveyance use which will be a button on there they blocked it out of mine because it's not allowed and then you go home and you want to drive it personal conveyance and you're over here the log is going to say no way you've got to return where you are if you expect to log that electronically as personal conveyance use. And uh, so the software, I'm sure, I'm sure some of them are wrong, so they're not doing it that way, but you could be put out of service for that because this could put you over hours, depending on how you do it. So you're not allowed to go to a different place. It's a round trip. So you drop your trailer and go home. Monday, you go, okay, I'll pick it up because a friend of mine owes an owner operator and he does the same thing for the same company. Goes out on Monday, comes back on Friday, goes home, comes back Monday, does the exact same thing. That would be personal conveyance. He could drop the trailer, go home, come back, and leave, 
and that's personal conveyance. It's a round trip for personal use, but he could not start somewhere else. It's because that is considered repositioning the equipment. That's not allowed. Okay, and it, the last thing that they really talk about is it has to be a reasonable distance. Now, they don't really give you a distance. They say a short trip. And the guidance has been that could a driver get eight hours of sleep when they get home and make the round trip. So basically, they're saying under guidance an hour each way. But there's no hard and fast rule for that. And I know people drive a long way on it and they don't get busted, but you could. You can't get unloaded in Denver and say, I'm gonna go home, I live in Chicago, right? And try home and go personal conveyance. Currently under the regulations, that would not be allowed. The guidance is, can you go home, take an eight hour break, drive back and have 10 hours off? That's the guidance on it, but there's no hard and fast rule, okay? So this is how personal conveyance use. It's a round trip for drivers, okay? And they're thinking of changing it. So if you have any further questions on personal conveyance, feel free to ask me about it. We have a lot of questions about that. So I hope everybody's getting ready to have a good holiday. And uh, there's, of course, going to be more trucking answers. Thanks for watching.